Hey everybody, it's Stratos. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, today's video is going to be on MXGP24 uh, and what a dumpster fire it has been so far. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Tears falling down, underdog is finally overcoming, baby. Yeah, I'm dropping buckets. Drop some cash for me, don't worry about my past for me. I'm driving with no gasoline. It's life I live a fantasy. Yeah, I do this for my dogs. All my day ones in my All right, guys, we're gonna be riding around the digging compound today on the Gas Gas 125. I haven't rode this track in a while, so please bear with me. First couple laps are gonna be absolutely painful, but not as painful as MXGP24. Uh, this game released two days ago and already has just some of the worst reviews you could ever think of. Um, honestly, it's been a huge step back in the motocross gaming industry. Um, graphics look great, track uh, objects, things like that look fine. You know, they got the entire season of tracks. You know, we're not talking about like that kind of stuff, okay? I, I will admit the, the graphics in the game do look pretty decent. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm really kind of disappointed in uh, Kyloton, which is the gaming company. Or, sorry, one of the developers of the game, along with Artifact Studio. Uh, Kyloton, hopefully I'm saying that right, is the developer of the WRC games, which I have played and am a big fan of. Um, so seeing them create this game and just seeing the product that they you know came up with was just really really disappointing like uh, the steam reviews right now that you'll see popping up on the screen I mean just ridiculous like th there, there's 35 reviews that are negative and five that are positive and the ones that are positive was like the game started up so uh, yeah looking through these there's the track has no degradation the grooves that's left in the track whenever you're riding don't even form in the ruts or anything so you basically don't even notice them in the game grip levels uh, grip levels are supposed to be realistic I don't know it is you have like zero grip the whole time um, you can't whip can't scrub just I don't know the the physics of the whole physics of the game just does not go well like I understand that it's a small gaming company, but at the same time, to charge full price for something like this, especially with the previous games that MXGP have had that have been fairly decent, I think MXGP 2019 was probably one of the better ones that they've had, or the best one that they've had. Uh, and coming off of a three year break, they have not had an MXGP game in three years. And this is what they came up with. It's, I'll say it again, it's, it's extremely disappointing. Uh, looking at the article on the MXGP website, you know, they advertised in all 19 tracks. You had all your favorite writers. You had Jorge Prado, Jeffrey Hurlings, you know, uh, Kata Wolf. You had everybody, you know, that you follow in the real life racing. You had all the, the real life teams. You had KTM, Gas Gas. Yamaha Factory, Honda HRC, Kawasaki. I mean, you had all the teams, everything licensed, and uh, advertising. It, th this is what it says on the website. It says, a high degree of realism, where the game level design plays an important role, whether uh, deform the track, blah, 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 career mode. And... Uh, just the physics of the game are just absolutely terrible. Say, save your money this Christmas. I know it's coming up in you know 25 days, but save your money on this game. Don't get it. I hate to say that, but it, it's just not worth it, guys. Um, I, I feel so bad for you console players because it just seems like you can never get a good game. Uh, Hopefully that'll change this next year with Motocross the game coming out. Hopefully that will give you guys a more realistic sim feel of the racing game. Really, really hope that turns out well. Um, going back to MXGP 14 or 24, ugh, 2024. Um, 
I know that I know this game had a three-year break where they just didn't release anything but I don't think they had a developer start building this game until super late in the uh, into the year and then on top of that Nacon who is the I guess publisher of this game had a huge strike where all the employees were you know going on strike against the company KT which is Kyla Tan, uh, they went on strike against Nacon for I guess working environments and much other stuff not really sure the the big uh, details on that that they, they deny it but you know whatever so I imagine there's a few months where they literally just like did not work on this game so it just I don't know guys it's it's really sad to see this game in this type of way uh, I, I think that it could have been so much better I mean it's MXGP it's an it's an official licensed game and for them to release this for full price is is not good it's just not good so but that's enough of my ranting uh, hope you guys enjoy the video if you want to go buy the game links in the description uh, highly don't recommend it probably just waste your money if you do want to play a good console game I'd recommend MXGP 2019 or at least one of the Supercross games but uh, yeah sorry console guys this year is just not your year but uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching the video and uh, peace out